Hi, and welcome to Studio Time with Zach. My name is Zachary Rudder. I'm an artist based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And on the easel this week, we're diving back into this piece you may recognize from A Day in the Life of the Artist, a video I released several months ago. This piece right here is from my friend Amy. It is a custom commission for a friend of hers who is getting married, and we need to get it finished by their wedding day. So as always, we've got a lot of work to get done and no time to waste. So let's get started. Now before we get started on this week's painting, I'm sure you guys have noticed my studio time with Zach Zipper hoodie. This is the new uniform that I'm going to be wearing throughout each video. I'm going to get t-shirts, tanks, and stuff like that that will ultimately get added to the website at some point. Now let's get to work. So if you look closely, you can see I always collage comics on the background of my canvases. One, because it provides a really awesome background, and two, because it also allows me to use each individual panel as a grid for me to be able to transfer my image onto the surface. So if you look closely at my iPad here, you can see I already have an image of my canvas uploaded. You can see my example of the happy couple. I can't wait for them to get this painting. Then what I went ahead and did already off camera was I uploaded my sketch, which this one's very sketchy. And now that it's on top of the canvas, what I can do is adjust my opacity and see underneath all the individual details that are going to allow me to transfer this image. So let's get to work on the skeleton outline. So the details in the back of this one are pretty fun. I use images of war like I typically do, but I also combined scenes of the silver surfer soaring through space. I thought this was a great narrative to summarize a new marriage, and I hope the couple enjoys the comics on the back just as much as they'll enjoy the painting on the front. Get a load of that happy couple. All that's left is to add the skyline. All right, we got our skeleton outline finished. I think I've captured their likeness perfectly already. And fun fact, this is actually one of two Fort Pitt Bridge paintings I'm working on currently. So why don't we go ahead and get started on that second one. So let's take a second to check out the second sketch. This was completely unplanned when I started filming this video. Uh, it just so happened someone reached out, my friend Beth, who lives out in Philly, and wanted a picture of the Fort Pitt Bridge from the entrance into the city through the Fort Pitt Tunnel. You may recognize it from the movie Perks of Being a Wallflower, which came out a few years ago featuring Emma Watson. Definitely check it out if you haven't watched it. It's so crazy to me that the universe lined up two Fort Pitt Bridge paintings simultaneously. Now that we got both the skeleton outlines finished, let's get to work on Amy's piece. Let's start coloring it in. I think it's so cool that I get to paint the Fort Pitt Bridge twice in one week, especially because it's such an iconic bridge in the city. It's one of two that you see right at the point, which is commonly referred to as the Golden Triangle. And another fun fact about why all the bridges in the city of Pittsburgh are yellow is because it actually comes from the coat of arms of William Pitt, who is where the city of Pittsburgh gets its name. I think it's pretty neat that we tied the color of his coat of arms into the color of all of our bridges in our city. It's everyone's favorite time of the day. Time to clean some brushes. All right, while we cleaning these brushes, you know I gotta let you know, we added a ton of new awesome merch to ZacharyRutterArt.com. Bucket hats, flip flops, duffel bags, everything you're gonna need to stay fresh and spread some love throughout the summer. So check it out and support the show. While the painting's drying, there's one thing I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. I've been really wanting to redo this sign and paint over all this mess of a working wall. You can see it's super busy and it makes it very difficult to film on. So I want to do a nice neutral black background. So let's take this off and let's cover this up. So I think you guys can see where I'm going with this one. I'm replicating the end credit to the, each video. I'm gonna put studio time with Zach on there. In the meantime, I'm gonna take this off, let it dry, and start painting the, the back wall black. Of course, the black paint I'm using for this back wall, PPG black.
of course I'm doing a little bit more than just painting the background black. You can see Silver Surfer soaring on a comet and I'm bringing outer space to the studio. Because after all, aren't we all just beings floating throughout time and space? Vastness of space, an incredible figure hurtles through the cosmos. New day, listening to the sounds of the birdies, and it's raining. Let's get to work. This is always my favorite part of each painting. After all the hard work of the of finishing the skeleton outline and getting all the colors in this is when the magic happens the outline at the end of the road that just brings this all together it, it started out looking like a hot mess and now it's starting to finally look like a finished painting for a happy couple and i am just so happy with how good it's coming together we've got all the black outlining finished all that's left to do is add the sun heart and sign it let's get it done there's one thing this thing's missing and that's the sign. Let's get to work. You know, I started this YouTube series on a whim at the beginning of quarantine when COVID first hit the airwaves, and I never thought it would turn into what it is today. I never thought I'd have a studio space in my backyard of a house that I own. It just makes me smile to think of how much things change and how often they change for the better when you stick to a positive outlook on life. And I am so happy that you guys are here with me today and that I'm getting to do what I love. So let's get this sign finished, guys. Now all that's left to do is attach it all together and get it hung on the working wall. Let's get it done. Check it out. The sign is finished and the lights are so awesome. Now let's get this painting finished for Amy. Of course, what would a Zack Rudder painting be without the signature? There you have it. Another painting for Studio Time with Zach is in the books. I cannot thank Amy enough for commissioning this beautiful portrait, and I want to take a second to wish nothing but the best of luck to Hunter and Callista on their upcoming wedding. I hope you enjoy the portrait I painted of you too, just as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, everyone, if you had fun, if you enjoyed yourself, and if you think you learned a thing or two, please like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the fun happening at Studio Time with Zach. And until next time, keep creating art. Bye, guys. So I didn't finish the second Fort Pitt Bridge painting, but that's okay. If you guys want to see the finished painting, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Zachary Rudder Art to check this piece out when it's finished. Thank you guys for sticking around this long, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye, guys.